Alright, this is a video on dealing with unit rates. Um, it's a very useful tool to have and it's a, <clears throat> it's a method that a lot of students struggle with uh, largely because of there's so many fractions in it. But So <clears throat> I want to start by looking at a couple of skills that we need algebraic skills to do this. So first thing we're going to start with is just looking at quick reducing of fractions. Um, so number one, if I gave you something like 3x over y times 5y over 7x, okay, and I wanted to work this problem out. Well, what I would do here is, um, I can do it a couple different ways, but a lot of people multiply straight across, right? That's how we multiply a fraction. Right, I get 15xy over 7y, xy. And then from here, I go, well, hey, I can reduce, right? This is all multiplication. Uh, so I can cross those out. They reduce to a 1. And the answer is 15 over 7. Okay? So when it comes to reducing a fraction, the main thing that we need to realize is, hey, as long as I have a um, the same value in the numerator and the denominator and everything's being multiplied, it reduces. So I could have actually, if I wanted to, if I was to rewrite this, done it in this first step. Some people call this cross cancel or cross reducing, and there are, uh, and people tend to have problems with this. So, uh, not a lot of teachers always show it, but it's really nice with a unit rate. Um, so what I look at here is, okay, well, hey, look at these are in the top. I'll just cross them out right now. Cross those x's out, and then I'll crosses out those all reduce to 1 and then I just multiply straight across now and you see I get to 15 over 7 with the same way and both of these are completely valid methods okay this right here reducing is what in this situation is much more useful when it comes to unit rates okay and then B here um, one of the big things here is we have to realize that uh, how to re um, Reducing units. Okay, when I say units, I'm talking about feet, you know, miles, uh, hours. There's lots of different units. So one of the things here, I'm going to use these same numbers they have above on purpose to see if it kind of makes sense. And I'm going to say three seconds over one foot times five feet all over seven seconds. Okay. And like I said, I picked um, ones that match the ones above it here. So you see how I used the three, and there's really a one right here in front of this y. Well, units, this seconds, right, act just like a variable. They square like variables, they, and they more importantly, they reduce like variables. So just like I crossed my x's out right here, right, I can cross my seconds out and my feet out. So units reduce just like variables. Um, so that would just be 15 over 7. So to give you another quick example of that, if I had something like a, you know, just a fraction of 7 feet uh, over 2 feet, right? Well, I got a foot on top and a foot on the bottom. I can just cross those out. And that's 7 over 2. So they reduce just like variables. All right, with those skills being put in place, let's go ahead and look at some examples here. Um, first one here is um, a faucet. Let me zoom that in a little bit here. Uh, a faucet fills a tub at three gallons every minute. Okay, what is that in cups per minute? Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and set myself a fraction up. So the first thing I'm going to say is, okay, well three gallons over one minute okay that's three gallons every minute so now there are some things that I need to know I need to know how many cups are in stuff how many feet are in yards things like that so for this particular one um, 16 cups equals one gallon so I need to know that okay I need to know that well, so I'm going to set up a unit rate, and I'm going to put this in a fraction. Okay, I'm going to put that into a fraction, um, and I want the I want to go to cups. 
So basically, I need the gallons to go away. So when I do this, when I put this in a fraction, I always want to put the unit that I want to go away, in this case gallons, on the opposite side, right, on the opposite side, and I mean numerator, denominator, or top and bottom, right? So when I do this, so look. So now what happens is these gallons, the actual units, cross out. And then I multiply straight across. So it's 3 times 16, which is 48 cups. And then down here, I just multiply across. And it's just 1 minute times 1. And that's 1 minute. And you would probably see it written as you know 48 cups per minute, per minute. Next one. A cheetah can run 75 miles per hour. What is that in feet per minute? Well, uh, I'll go ahead and set my fraction up, or my rate. So 75 miles in one hour. Okay. Well, I need some more information here. What I need to know, I also need to know this. 5,280 feet equal one mile. And there is um, 60 minutes in one hour. Okay, so those are the two things that I need to know. Now, this is a little bit different because, see, I'm changing both the units. I'm going to go from miles to feet and hours to minutes. For every conversion, I have to have a one fraction. So I need to have, I'm going to have to multiply this by two different fractions here. So, okay. So let's go, it doesn't matter which one I do first. I'll go ahead and do the time one first. So I'm going to go ahead and use this one. So I want to convert from hours to minutes. So I'm going to put that into a fraction, making a point to make sure that I get the hours on the top and bottom. Then over here, I'm going to go ahead and do the feet to miles, or miles to feet, sorry. So I'm going to say, okay, here's my miles. So I'm going to put that down here. So that reduces. Okay. And there's feet. All right. So now, even though I have three fractions, nothing changes. I can still reduce if it's on the top and the bottom. So these, those hours reduce out. Even though it's this fraction and this fraction, those miles cross out. Okay, so you got to be careful because it can get kind of messy. So you can see I'm gonna now I'm gonna multiply across, and it's 75. I got the one, 5,280, and then the feet. And if I multiply those out, we get a pretty big number, 396,000 feet. Down below, I'm just left with 60 minutes. Well, I want to reduce this, okay? And basically what I want is I want the bottom to have a single digit or just one. So I'm going to just divide that by 60. And if I do that, it comes out to 13,200. And I'm going to say feet per minute. That's the exact same thing as 75 miles per hour. I just doing it with different units. Okay. All right. Last example here. Um, and this is a bullet travels at 2,500 feet per second. What is that in miles per hour? So I'm going the opposite direct way as the one above here. This one I went from, you know, miles which are big to feet which are smaller, but it doesn't change the process. So once again, I need to know that uh, 5,280 feet equal one mile. Okay, but in this case, I'm going from seconds all the way to hours. So I'm skipping minutes. So what that one is, is 3,600 seconds equals one hour. So those are the ones that I need. So I'm going to set up my fraction here, or my rate, feet over one second. Okay, and it doesn't matter which one I do first. So I'm going to go ahead and do, uh, I'll go ahead and do the time again first. So I want the seconds to cross out. So I got to make sure I put the second one up top and then one hour, okay? And then I've got to go from miles to feet. And so feet are up top, so I've got to put the feet one in the bottom. All right. Okay. Now I simply reduce. All right, so kind of looking at this, all so the seconds cross off. There's no more seconds in the question. Uh, the feet cross off. They're way over there. And it looks like nothing else is going to reduce. So I'm going to go ahead and multiply straight across here. So 2,500 times 3,600 times miles, there's still a miles in there. So that's a pretty big number, as you can see. Okay. Down below, I'm left with 
one, an hour and 5,280. Um, so that comes out to 280 um, <clears throat> hours. Okay. Then I go ahead and reduce the fraction. If I do that, it comes out to about uh, 1,704 and a half miles per hour. Okay, miles per hour. So once again, the speed is not changed. I just changed my units. I'm instead of in being in feet, I'm in miles, and instead of seconds, I'm in hours. 